Hey guys, my name is Maxi, and this is how you think like a radiant jet main. Oh my god, you're so good, Chad. So for this first clip, I get a 4K with the operator, and I want to break down how I came to B. So firstly, my nephew calls for some backup here, because he's noticed that they've been favoring towards B and garage when they're saving. What up, me. window? Well, I walked on. They're like, doing, they're like, like hitting like B. So. Yeah, we're really poor. So the plan is for me to hold his window while he can test mid before they can even position themselves to take close range gunfights. I want you to pay attention to my positioning. I like saving my dash for risky play, so if I can position myself to take a shot and reposition without needing to use my dash, it allows for me to use it later for an aggressive repeek. So I take my shot, but I see that my teammate's still fighting, so I go for a repeek. And that's when having that dash comes in handy because I can get a pick without being traded. I saw Omen's little ass head right here for a split second, so since I'm worried that he's gonna be doing like a sneaky little play in his lurk smoke, it's time for my shrimpy to get some action. This next clip, I went around for my team with my jet knives, and as a duelist, sometimes your team has some really good reads. Dash tube, kill the fing guy who's just holding mid. He's playing where? He's just on boiler, no? Uh, don't know. I'm not even entirely sure where this guy's playing, but all I know is that we're gonna make it happen. Team play is like a trait, you always gotta work to try to get better at it, because team play is always the answer. Nice. F res, by the way. It's you, I'm here with you. Oh my god, you better. I'm actually, I'm Plan worked like a charm. Now that we got the picks and the numbers advantage, I just resort to going back mid to holding control over this orange, not really looking to overextend. My main goal is to kind of just make it a hassle for these guys to try to defuse the bomb. Uh, one's, one's deep in uh, kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen behind you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not killing him because I want you to get the ace. Right here. Enemy remains. W. You dropped in the kitchen. Go crazy. Here, I got you. Hold on. Oh. This next clip is another clip where I choke because I'm a loser like my wife likes reminding me of. Disregarding that, I want to break down the angles that I hold and how I choose them. They could be just distracting though. I was it sounds like they're walking. Not out yet. They could be just distracting. Here I'm on a little perch of an off angle that I really like. This angle is extremely strong when smokes are up, but when I'm holding it dry, it's kind of a hit or miss, so whenever I'm in try hard mode, I usually fall off and just decide to play with my teammates the second smokes go down. In this case, there's a viper wall that I can look over and I catch the rainer with her pants down. The second I get one, I instantly fall off and reposition just because I don't want to get traded fast. Not out though. Bye. So after I get to pick on Reina, I fall into this habit of recontinuously peeking long. I don't like holding angles like the statue because once you start playing against the big dogs in Radiant, everybody is good at isolating angles so it's a good habit to form. It's essentially using peeker's advantage with every repeat that I use, rather than letting myself get peeker's advantage on, so to speak. Nice. Yeah, let's go. This next round is a round where I set up a bait and switch with my brim, get reminded that I get zero attention from women, and get a crazy operator 4k in the same note. Main takeaway from this clip is that if you're opping, the best way to go about it is to have someone to play off of that can support you. I'm gonna play C. I think they try C here. Yeah. Wait, buy me. You got a hell of money. Oh yeah, I got hella money. You have the stacks. Hella stacks, but ain't got no bitches. Facts. Hey, don't. You go for you for the quick shot, and I'll be I'll be in here waiting for them to run it. Yeah, 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 I'll pay them in too. So pretty much the plan is for visual sake. I take point with the up, and so the second I shoot my operator, naturally since it takes a minute to cock back, that'll prompt them to push in and try to flood me, and that's when Brimothy swoops in and saves the day. From there, we just profit off the crossfire. I gotta smoke B if you can just. Yeah, do it, do it. Do it. I got you. I got you. Smoke sound. Just there, just there. He's looking for me! I got him. On B, on B. They shot my check. Nice. What's your, what's your plan? Just... Wait, he's looking for me there? I guess. The Bane's Why? This next clip is another clip where I'm playing with my team and setting him up with the op actually works. I want to break down my repositions and the trust that I have with my teammate here. Oh yeah, they broke my trap oh. mid. Broke it with a uh, shock. They're drowning. I'll try to break that. 
I'm not, I'm not holding. Lord, I'm gonna I'm holding transfer back. over. Ooh, smoked off. Watching him in. One's there. Both main, both main, both main, both main. Oh my nice. god. As soon as I hear their omen teleport A main, I instantly assume that it's their play to take A main control. So since my teammate is already in A main holding the one way, I'm gonna reinforce that side of the map for better odds of holding map control. This Reyna makes a grave mistake walking into the one way and instead of re-peeking the angle after I get the pick and possibly getting spammed or traded or something, I let my teammate get next while I try to post up cat. And then I hear a Sova drone fluttering towards me and so since they haven't spotted my omen yet, I hear a Sova drone and since they haven't spotted my omen but they already know that I'm a main, I hurry to break the drone and deny any and all info and it helps out in the long run. So trusting my omen to shut down a main after my efforts to set him up, I get to pick on this jet and instantly go to smoke and tree off to make getting the trade on me all the more difficult. Normally the smart players to back up and reposition but since I'm trying to break their spirits and show my dominance I walk in my smoke and no scope the dweeb. Damn geometry I think one's blogs possibly the main one Damn. If you want to optimize how you peek into angles, you gotta pretend that walls don't exist. You gotta try visualizing and lining up your crosshair where their head would be, and then aim using your arrow keys by strafing. If you practice that and get really good at it, you'll start playing like those players who seemingly insta one tap people. You ever get insta headshotted by a smurf who looks like they're still full running on your screen? It's because they're really good at the skill. Right here, the schedule knows exactly where I'm at, so I throw a smoke to try to bamboozle this guy. I break his ankles because it's pretty much like a 50-50 chance on which side I'm going to peek on, and he picks wrong. Here I know that the Sova's opping, so I'm trying to bait out an op shot, and since I know that there's one more guy alive, I try to use that op shot as a bait because I'm hoping that the other guy is going to try to swing off his teammate's shot. Sadly, he plays a lot more discipline than I assume, so I decide to just full send it on the Sova. After that, I make full noise stepping to this right side to try to bait him out into swinging this left side, and he falls for it, hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, you don't have to push canteen. He's pushing canteen for sure. Getting needed. Arcade last. Blinding. Under. Jenny, Jenny. Let's go. Oh. Oh my god, look at oh. my new self. One assist by me. W. Let's go. Broken this. Good ball, Ma. Away with you. There's a chance for the the flag. Hold garage. Garage, garage. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. Yeah, like hold it, like hold it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> this week's code word for a chance of free coaching is darn tootin'.